L.R. the liberal redneck here. Coming to you from a country whose conservative-dominated Supreme Court ruled that religion is more important than the public welfare. In an effort to save as many lives as possible from the terrible COVID-19 pandemic, California instituted a ban on in-person gatherings at all churches. The Supreme Court ruled they could not do that because it violated religious rights. One can only assume that religion has the right to put citizens in great danger in order to pass the never-ending collection plate that facilitates their ability to accumulate unlimited tax-free donations. Based on this ruling, it also means that religion is more important than science, or fiction overrules fact. Science has proven beyond any doubt that in-person gatherings is instrumental in the spread of the deadly virus. Churches and states with less stringent policies have over and over again become hotspots for the spreading virus, putting not only church members at risk, but everyone they subsequently come in contact with. In our current society, only a slim majority believes in religion, and this ruling completely ignores the rights of non-believers and puts their lives at risk unnecessarily. In an earlier ruling, the SCOTUS upheld a ban. But when Ruth Bader Ginsburg died and former Senate Majority Leader McConnell rammed through the nomination of Christian zealot Amy Coney Barrett, who believes the Bible is more important than the Constitution, in mere days before the last presidential election, after refusing to even consider President Obama's pick for almost a year because of an upcoming election. The core dynamics were changed. Justices Stephen Breyer, Sonia Sotomayor, and Elena Kagan said they would have left California's restrictions in place. In a stinging dissent for the three, Kagan noted that None of the justices is a scientist, and she accused the majority of substituting its own judgment for the epidemiologists and elected officials who are desperately trying to slow the spread of a deadly disease. Quote, I cannot imagine that any of us on the court has delved into the scientific research on how COVID spreads or studied the strategies for containing it. So it's alarming that the court second guesses the judgment of expert officials and displaces their conclusions with its own. In the worst public health crisis in a century, this foray into armchair epidemiology cannot end well. End quote. I say President Biden needs to immediately add more justices to the court with a liberal background before they end up putting all of us in the graveyard. You can reach me at the liberal redneck at gmail.com and you can visit live with me and my talented colleagues for our weekly wrap up every Friday at noon central on blogtalkradio.com forward slash the liberal redneck. Thanks for watching.